The land of the rising sun has been in the roots of the Philippines' infrastructure development for over seven decades now. They have been responsible for helping and constructing thousands of projects that, in combined, worth billions of US dollars. But exactly just by how much has Japan really helped change this country, composing 7,641 islands? To start off, we must first know that Japan is in fact a country seen by the Philippines as one of its leading allies in terms of economic efforts. It sits as the country's largest source of economic help, even at one time where Japan was responsible for almost half of the country's overseas aid. That, and even as a trade partner, has Japan been one of the biggest. And in recent years and coming decades, however, Japan looks like it wants a bigger presence in the country. I mean, just look at this map. Yes, this is just a list of Japan's major operations in the country. These projects are worth billions of pesos, and some are even worth billions of dollars. From transportation, climate control, and even schemes in helping maintain its law enforcement sector. Oh wait, that was only the major projects. This next map is a list of the entire agenda of where Japan is having a presence in the country. Yes, this, as of the end of 2020, are projects that are impacting every sector of the country. One of the ways that Japan has aided the Philippines is through the Official Development Assistance, in which is a program that aids countries like the Philippines through grants or loans. And these are mostly funded by countries or institutions like the World Bank. And according to the Philippines National Economic and Development Authority, these aids are worth over $30 billion as of 2020. And of these investments, Japan stood as the biggest contributor to the country with 36% or $11 billion. These are followed by the Asian Development Bank and the World Bank and a few more other institutions and countries. And a fact that Japan stands is not only the biggest contributor but far surpassing that of other countries. Looking at the next two nations, which are South Korea and China, only contributed 2.6% and 2% of the $30 billion in aid. This would very much imply that Japan has seen the Philippines as one of the places around the world to invest its money in. And this is also true historically. A paper that dates back to 1985 until 2017 shows that the Philippines was a consistent major recipient of this. And in total, Japan has provided the Philippines well over 39.4 billion US dollars between 1960 and 2018, according to the OECD. Where most of this cash goes is well in this graph. Even its support for the current administration, so-called Build Build Build, has stood its ground as one of the leading supporters and even had a hand in its world-renowned issue as it became one of the only few countries that gave grants in supporting the controversial war on drugs the country is going through. In the future, it may as well look like Japan is still serious about helping the Philippines grow into a bigger economy. Just in 2017, the former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, pledged over 1 trillion Japanese yen in aid and investments over the course of five years. And in the recent months from this video's publication, it's still growing. But in all truth, is Japan's help actually good for the Philippines or might as well other countries? Well, the answer is a bit complicated. You see, the construction of such infrastructure is quite beneficial to the people, especially knowing that the Japanese, who are well known to have quality work, are doing it. However, there are still criticisms against these grants or loans, as they call them. Several papers were published over the decades noting how some of this assistance may actually be Japan's commercial benefit. One of the papers published in 1990 claimed that Japan was rather earning 75 to 95 cents for every dollar of aid that they give. This then may seem like a money-making scheme, but rather and thankfully this has changed over the years. Previously, on its first few grants to the country, it had requested as much as 4% interest rates. Today, however, it has given the Philippines only around 0.01%. Anyway, what do you think about the story of how Japan helped build the Philippines? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.